Hello, welcome to this WWBC cast between Man Reed and TA for Life or TAPAKAHBI4 as he's known at the minute. We'll just go with TA. So, this is the first game of. A best of five under nineteen hundred bracket final. Both players playing Aeon, which is quite strange. TA does play Aeon occasionally and used to exclusively play Aeon, I believe, quite a while ago. Man Reed kinda plays everything, but I don't think he played a huge amount of Aeon. So, World Sarah Glaciers, Transport Rush Map, uh, so let's speed it up a little bit and see what the build orders are. So usually you'll have first three NGs, or three of the first NGs will expand, grab mexes and grab reclaim along the way. You go maybe eight, nine, or ten P gen, second air. Usually, first transport on this map because there is basically enough a distance that you shouldn't uh, allow your transport to be intercepted, otherwise, you uh, didn't really rush it very well. But I think TA won't rush a transport, I think he usually goes for some indies and scouts before the transport. AP gens that kind of indicates you probably go for yeah usually you go for more P gens if you're getting a transport first because you want to assist it and a transport is much more expensive than well quite a bit more expensive than other T1 air units so neither of them is going transport first so it'll be interesting to see if either can actually take out the other's transport so Manried has quite a nice score advantage how much does that mean? well hard to say TA has so many energies building power wow Transport is a long way away. Three more entities gonna come out. He's now wasting mass. Not looking good. And it looks like Manried will be able to get the middle island. He's gonna drop all of his entities, I believe. I think what he could do there is just drop two and drop three on either large expansion island I think that would work better although there are a lot of mexes to grab here so it's it's not a bad option still no transfer TA by the looks of it so yeah I really fear for TA because uh, slow expansion is well, it can just lose you again very fast. This transport should be back here picking up NGs already. But it looks like, okay, he's gonna grab these NGs and leave. So he's gonna be quite slow actually grabbing these mexes. And TA's transport is dead. That's quite bad, and he's also tied up. He is air, so he's not going to be able to shoot this down. But this bomber might be able to. Let's see what the micro is like. He doesn't split the NGs. Oh, 
at the last second he saves one NG, but will he? It looks like the bomber is targeting the factory. That is extremely unfortunate. That was a way back into the game for TA if he could kill this NG, but if this factory gets up. going to be difficult. Although now the TA score has rocketed. He's got a 2-1 mix. He has he expanded to this island with an NG and secured it with a factory. He does have a transport loaded now which he will drop to this island. He does seem to have significantly more air. So, well, this NG is dead, but the factory is completed. TA could drop here and win this island, for sure. With one factory and nothing else, uh, that could be. It could be very painful. He could definitely. Manry could definitely lose this if TA were to counter drop. May have been the better option, but he goes for the safe option, which is to drop to the unoccupied island. Although Manry is moving in to contest that now. Manry doesn't have mass, so it actually this build power he can't utilize fully. And, oh, nice bomber from Manry. I'm actually going to slow this down. Is that, that PD looks to be in range of the factory. Oh, I hope he's not upgrading mechs as well, he's building that. He is. He really needs to pause them and also grab any reclaim he can get. Because this... This can just win him this island. Oh no. I wonder, could he... He could probably ground fire this factory. But it looks like it can't actually attack. I think he can ground fire this. Now, well, Manry looks. It's ominous. Four factories. TA has no factories up on that island. TA is not contesting this island. TA can't contest this island. So, hmm. maybe we'll see some T2 air. Yeah, we do gunships. That can definitely win this expansion for him. He's dropping more NGs as well. Actually, he's dropping some NGs to this island. Manreed's still slowly grabbing his expansion. His first T2P gen is going up now. It's kind of late for this map, I think. Although, I guess he doesn't have all this mass yet. There is a huge amount of reclaim that he should be grabbing as soon as possible. Airwise, he's moved to swift winds. He is still making interceptors. But, uh, this mastal is really slowing down his air production. Frigate's out for TA. Manry now has three downfall factories. He's not seemed to even attempt to grab this island. And now TA saying he shouldn't even have tried. Oh, TA. Stick in there, man. Well, TA does tend to, in my experience, give up a bit prematurely. He had some advantages here, but he was certainly on the way towards losing, but he could definitely pull this back. So, disappointing end to this first game.